Hello, my name is Dane DeFebo and I'm the museum educator here at the National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I bring to you this see, touch and feel moment for the month of August that is sponsored by Dixon ACNR of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. August of 1862 um, marks the Battle of Cedar Mountain, which was fought on the 9th, and the an anniversary of that battle being represented this month. Cedar Mountain was fought in North Central Virginia in Culpeper County um, along the ridge, along a mountain and a uh, run known as Cedar Run. The battle opened with an artillery barrage and then was followed by a flank attack launched by Union Major General Nathaniel P. Banks, who was commanding a corps of the Army of Virginia. Uh, he, his assault was on a force that was almost twice as large as his commanded by Stonewall Jackson. and. Um, was subsequently uh, repulsed by a, a counterattack and um, involved a, a soldier, which involved a soldier that I have a CDV um, card to visit card of today. In a last ditch effort to support the Union retreat off of the Cedar Mountain battlefield, General Banks ordered a battalion of Union Cavalry from the 1st Pennsylvania Cavalry to lead a cavalry charge into a group of Confederate infantry and, and protect and support that retreat. Um, as, as that was occurring, the 1st Pennsylvania Cavalry suffered some rather high casualties and was rather battered by the role in that, in that assault and a new Union Infantry Brigade came onto the Senior Cedar Mountain battlefield into a wheat field on the battlefield that was led by Harvard, Harvard, Law, a Harvard Law student and a West Point graduate and Mexican War um, veteran named George Henry Gordon. General Gordon was a Brigadier General at the time uh, native of Massachusetts, and he had three regiments in his brigade, including his very own 2nd Massachusetts Infantry Regiment. Now, the 2nd Massachusetts was, was raised in the Boston area, and this soldier, who I have a picture of, is Edward Gardner Abbott, who was the captain in command of Company A of the 2nd Massachusetts. Abbott was leading a skirmish line with his company in front of his regiment. And um, in the ensuing fight, he was shot in the neck and killed. Abbott's father, Josiah Gardner Abbott, was the um, overseer of Harvard College before the Civil War, and then also was um, dabbled in politics especially running for Senate, U.S. Senator a couple of times as a Democratic candidate. Um, Abbott was graduated from Harvard in 1860 and um, had a brother named Henry Livermore Abbott, who was also a uh, graduate of the class of 1860 as well. And after Abbott's death, um, Edward Abbott, or Ned as his family and his friends called him. Um, after his death, Henry Livermore Abbott had written several letters to his parents, which are published today, that um, reflect solemnity, or so, solemnity and um, being distraught over the death of, of Ned Abbott. Captain Ned Abbott was one of four uh, company officers or captains to be killed in the Battle of Cedar Mountain from the from the Second Massachusetts Regiment. He, uh, also, the major of the regiment died from wounds received at Cedar Mountain, and a lieutenant was killed as well. Um, the 
the, in the fight at Cedar Mountain, the second Ma Massachusetts was hit in the front by two different brigades and also on the north flank by the Stonewall Brigade and were, were basically forced to retire from the field. They suffered a total of 173 casualties after out of 1,500 men that were brought on the field from that brigade. Um, Ed Abbott or, or Ned Abbott was um, recovered from the battlefield two days afterwards. Um, his body was brought to Lowell, Massachusetts, the famous milling town, and he was buried in a plot with his brother Henry Livermore Abbott, who was killed in the Battle of Wilderness on May 5th, 1864. The two brothers um, were given posthumous brevets to higher ranks in March of 1865 as a result of their undying commitment to the Union cause in the Civil War. And, and uh, Henry Livermore Abbott was promoted to, to brevet uh, Brigadier General after his death, whereas Ned Abbott was promoted to um, brevet Major. The, um, the two brothers, like I said, were, were buried in the same plot. Their story and the story of their family's role in the war um, is an account of the experience of well-educated Massachusetts elites who also were committed to the cause and, and willing to fight and give up all they had gained in society to um, become as soldiers and casualties of the war. I would like to thank you for watching this See, Touch, and Feel moment. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch other videos like it that are there. Thank you.